So the fourth and final example question, uh, looking at how to do partial pressure questions. Uh, the notes, etc., can be found on my website, GoProCaribbean.com. In the dive theory section, it is uh, GoProCaribbean.com slash dive dash physics dash three. So uh, this is the other way that a partial pressure question can be slightly uh, twisted to make it more difficult than uh, it really is. Um, so let's look at it. It's going to be the same one, two, three approach that we always take and looking for the first bit of information. What gas are they asking us about? They're asking us about oxygen and what is the blend that the uh, diver is breathing? They're breathing air. So the percentage of oxygen in air is 21%. We write that down as 0.21 on our calculation sheet. Uh, we always multiply partial pressure questions. So that's what goes in step two and step three. We normally look for the depth in the question and then calculate what the pressure at that depth is and write it down. On this occasion, we haven't been given a depth. Uh, they're diving in a mountain lake and they're at the surface, but they tell us what the pressure is. It's 0 0.8 atmospheres. So rather than converting a depth into a pressure, we just take the pressure that's already been given to us and enter that in as step three. So 0 0.21 times 0 0.8 gives us our answer. It is 0 0.168 atmospheres. Not a lot of oxygen. You may be feeling uh, a little bit winded up there. So uh, if you're finding these videos useful, uh, one of the best things you can do to help me in return is if you're writing a blog about your experience learning to become a dive master or instructor, link to my website. That really helps me.